What's up bros and welcome. Now today I'm going to be showing some custom supervillains that I've made for my custom LEGO superhero universe. So let's get down to business. Now for the first custom villain in today's video, we have Mannequin. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from Mr. Knight from the Marvel Studios CMF Series 2. Then, we're gonna take this Moon Knight torso piece, also from the Marvel CMF Series 2, except the torso is reversed, and we also have some printless white arms and hands. Then, we're gonna take this Printless white headpiece, we're gonna attach this white bow tie piece, and then we can pop it onto the rest of the minifigure, and then we have the completed mannequin custom. Alright, bros, so for mannequin's abilities, he can basically bend and twist his body in any way he wants. So, for instance, he can twist his head all the way around to the back so he can look behind him like 360 all the way back. It's kind of creepy, but that's basically his abilities. Very simple, but keep in mind he can't shape shift or anything. He can't change the size of his body like he can't just like squish his bones and go through a keyhole or something like that. He can't make his body smaller or anything like that. And as for his backstory, he was a gang member before he got his abilities, but after he got his abilities, he took over the gang he was in, so now he's the gang leader. And that's why he's the mannequin, because he's the king of his mannequin gang. Because he has like a bunch of goons that he calls mannequins, and those guys are basically his gang members. But yeah, that's basically it for the mannequin. Now for the second villain in today's video, we have Flash Drive. Now, the legs of this ghost mini figure. I actually have no idea where these are from, I apologize. But the torso is from a random Iron Man minifigure, except torso is going to be reversed. Then, we're going to take some printed arms, which are from a surfer minifigure from a random LEGO CMF series, and we also have some dark red hands attached. Then we're going to take this red armor piece and pop it onto the torso, and we're going to take this red Sith Jet Trooper jetpack piece and pop it onto the back. And we're also going to attach this black antenna piece to the back as well. Then we're going to take this Ninjago Dragon's Rising Kai headpiece, except we're going to only focus on the print on the eyes right here. And then we're going to take this black evil mech helmet piece to cover up the yellow part of the head. And then we have the completed flash drive custom. Now, shout out to my friend Diamond Bricks Productions for letting me copy his idea. So basically, my friend Diamond Bricks Productions created a custom character called Radio. And I asked him if I could copy his idea for my own series. And he said yes, so that's how flash drive was born. But... Let's get into Flash Drive's abilities. So Flash Drive's main ability is he has the ability to remove memories from people and turn them into Flash Drive. So for instance, if he has a prey that he's captured and he wants to remove their memories of some secret files or something, he can remove the memory from their brain and turn it into a flash drive. Then that person forgets all of the information because now it's stored in the flash drive that flash drive created. And as for flash drive's secondary abilities, he has super strength and enhanced durability. So he's bulletproof and sharp objects don't hurt him. And he can like take a car and throw it across a block and he's super strong as for if he dies like for instance if he gets say blown up or somehow somebody cuts his head off then his robotic body disappears and he transforms back into his alter ego or his secret identity as you can see here let's just call him wally for now and wally is the owner of flash drive flash drive is basically his alter ego and flash drive has a different personality so wally here is 
actually a decent guy, but Flash Drive is a violent, monstrous being, so that's why Flash Drive here is still considered a villain. So the guy is nice, but the monster inside the guy isn't. <laughs> that, that sounds so edgy. Now for the third custom villain in today's video, we have Necrolink. Now, the legs of this Ghost or minifigure are from the calculator from the LEGO Batman movie minifigure series blind bags. Then we're going to take this Ava torso piece from Nexo Knights, except the torso is reverse, and we're going to take some princess arms, I think. We're going to take this white cape piece and pop it onto the torso. Then we're going to take this magpie head piece from the Lego Batman movie. We're gonna attach this lower white ninja hood piece and we can pop it onto the rest of the minifigure. And then for the last piece, we're gonna take this Gandalf hat piece. And then we have the completed Necrolink custom. Now, Necrolink's abilities are kind of a curse. So the easiest way to explain it is basically you know how when you're playing a game and you're here in real life with your normal body and you're controlling an avatar in a video game? Well, that's basically what it's like for Necrolink. So her soul is floating around and controlling her body and she basically sees things in the third person perspective like she's playing a game or something. To everybody else, her body is moving and acting normal, but in reality, her soul is just floating around her body unable to return even though she can control and see everything her body sees. Now I know what you're thinking, how can this even be considered an ability? How is this even useful? Well, let me give you an example or a scenario. So let's just say Necrolink is fighting some good guys and she's getting attacked from all angles. Well, to help her in combat, her soul can fly around and observe the situation from different angles. So she basically has eyes all over because her soul is like an extra pair of eyes that are looking around the battlefield for her. And as for Necrolink's backstory, basically she was raised by her single father and she was abused for most of her childhood and even when she grew older, men just kind of used her for her body and just didn't give a crap about her. So. That's why she kind of went psychotic and she was like, oh, screw all men, I want to kill all men. This was just a mentality until she got her powers and then she decided to act on this and now she actually wants to try and get rid of all men on the planet, so. Now for the fourth and final villain in today's video, we have Currency. Now, the legs of this Costa minifigure are from a random Koala Keeper from Series 24, I believe. Then, we're gonna take this Doctor Doom torso piece from Marvel, and we also have some green arms and some brown hands attached. Then, we're gonna take this money bag piece, and this is actually from a Cheetah minifigure from the DC CMF Series 1. Pop that on, and then we have the completed Currency Custom. Now, Currency here, you guessed it, always has money on his mind. His backstory is basically he's an ex-military guy, but after he retired, he's like a veteran, he decided he was sick and tired of not being able to get a job, so he decided to use his abilities and his expertise to become an assassin for hire and sometimes a bodyguard so whoever pays him the most to get a job done whether it be to kill somebody or protect somebody he's gonna do it all for the money but anyway that's basically it for currency but anyway that's basically it for this video i hope you rose enjoyed these custom villains that i made for my custom lego superhero universe i haven't made one of these videos in a while but i'll be sure to make more coming soon but anyway feel free to check out my other videos i mostly make custom minifigures have a great day godspeed bros